Namaskara to all the uh, farmers, KVK officials, extension personnel, and uh, all those who are meeting with farmers for uh, transfer of uh, technology. Uh, I would like to tell the latest in the pest management in uh, tomato, as tomato is an important crop, important vegetable. And in tomato, we also have salad tomatoes. Therefore, residue-free tomatoes are very uh, important for us. Now, in tomato, plant protection is the main component for successful cultivation of tomato. Now, tomato is attacked by cuta absoluta, white flies, several species of thrips, then a few borers, and also below the soil, nematodes. It is possible to manage all these pests with eco-friendly and uh, very low residue insecticides. Now, uh, let's see what is basically important in pest management. This is selection of varieties. There are many varieties developed at the Indian Institute of Horticulture Research, which are quite tolerant to uh, wilt diseases and virus diseases. For example, Arka Rakshak. Now, farmers, uh, and other personnel are requested to see their website and uh, for the region select appropriate uh, varieties. Now, if a farmer is raising uh, his own seeds um, uh, uh, and the seedlings, then he should be able to prepare the nursery bed properly and have the seed treated with uh, imidacloprid at the rate of 12 grams per kg. Or if they want, if he wants to go organic, he can also use um, tri uh, trichoderma and uh, treat it well, dry it well, and then select good seeds and then uh, go into the nursery bed. Now, the nursery bed also needs to be treated with uh, the same microbial uh, co consortia which we uh, use in portraits. If you are getting seedlings in portraits, then it is important that the portraits are treated with Arca Microbial Consortium at the rate of, uh, say, 10 ml per liter. And, and the same Arca Microbial Consortium should also be applied uh, after uh, transplanting at the base of the uh, plants. Now, when you are transplanting the plants, the, uh, discard diseased or damaged uh, uh, plants so that only healthy plants are transferred into the main field. Now, in a nematode-prone area where there's a record of nematodes occurring, then it is important that the microbial consortia of Trichoderma, Pochonia, and also AMC, each at 2 kgs uh, per acre, is mixed with about 200 kgs of neem cake which is for, for an acre. These, are, these ha have to be mixed well with the name cake and then spread in the field uh, uniformly. So nematodes do not uh, appear on the roots of the plants. Now, two weeks after uh, uh, transplanting, it is important uh, to see that no leaf miners come. Leaf miners can come from cuta and it can also come from lyreomyza. So, we re strongly recommend the use of Rashvi neem liquid soap at the rate of 3 ml per liter to be sprayed on all the plants and repeat another botanical spray after 10 days with Rashvi Pongamia liquid neem soap, uh, liquid soap at the rate of 3 ml per liter. Now, neem and Pongamia, by alternating these, not only we uh, keep the tuta populations, leaf miner populations down, we also prevent the landing of uh, thrips and uh, uh, white flies. Now, uh, it is also important to check for alternaria and uh, uh, other leaf spot diseases on uh, tomato. And for that, uh, when diseases appear, methylaxyl or mancosum uh, at the rate of 1.5 to 2 grams per liter should be used. And for this, liquid neem soap can be used as uh, stickers. Now, if uh, the farmer feels that the tuta attack is more than 25 
uh, percent uh, based on the leaf mines in the field, then a single spray of uh, spinitoram, uh, which is about uh, half uh, ml to 0.8 ml per liter, along with the Rashmi neem liquid soap as uh, uh, sticker at the rate of 3 ml per liter should be given. Uh, the alternate spray, it's not a repeat spray, it is an alternate spray, it would be emamaxin bentoate at the rate of 0.4 grams per liter and with the same liquid neem soap as sticker. Uh, this will also control thrips and white flies. Now, at the, uh, this is the correct stage before flowering. Just before flowering, we have to erect blue sticky tuta pheromone traps. These are... Uh, uh, the Rashvi tuta pheromone traps comes along with the blue sticky uh, traps and approximately we recommend about 20 uh, traps per um, acre. Now these have to be uh, erected uh, using a bamboo uh, stick and uh, kept above the height of the canopy of the um, uh, plant. As the plant grows, this has to be raised uh, above the canopy. So the farmer needs to tie. And after uh, um, about 45 days, uh, uh, there should be a replacement of the uh, lure uh, in the uh, trap. This is the trap would, uh, is as is shown in the uh, picture. And uh, we can guide you also of the erection. And a month prior to flowering, depending on the condition of the um, and health of the plant, it may be necessary to give the Arka vegetable special of IAHR at the rate of 5 grams per liter to strengthen the plants and give it more uh, resistance and tolerance to pests and uh, diseases. Then after uh, fruits uh, set, it is important to give alternate sprays of Rashvi neem uh, or uh, uh, Pongamia liquid soap after every two pickings or uh, harvest. It is important also to spray AMC at the rate of 10 ml per liter, because this will also control many uh, diseases. So uh, this way you maintain a good uh, stand of the crop. Now, nowadays we are seeing in the last five to six years, fruit flies are attacking uh, tomato. And for controlling this, the liquid neem soap, which you regularly spray would prevent uh, a lot of this fruit flies. But at the same time, it is important to erect in the field Rashvi Bactosera traps or fruit fly uh, traps. This you have to put at the rate of 20 per uh, acre. Now, what is important is this uh, pheromones are found on plywood lure. And as soon as you put the pheromone in the, in the trap, in the, uh, inside the trap and tie into the field, before that, two to three drops of malathion or chloropyrifos have to be put on the uh, plywood and this has to be repeated every two weeks for the catch to be good. Then after 30 days we have to add one more lure. Let the old lure be there. Add one more lure and uh, fresh lure and to both these you had some chlorophyll uh, chlorophyll using a ink filler and that way you will get good catch and control the fruit flies. Now there are two types of borers seen in the uh, tomato essentially. One is the tuta absoluta, which is a pinhole borer, and the other one is the uh, bigger borer, which is the helicoverpa armigera. Now, when you see uh, borers at the first harvest, you can see, destroy all the bored fruits. And uh, then immediately give a spray immediately after the first picking, BT at the rate of 5 grams per liter, along with Rashvi Pongamia liquid soap uh, at the rate of 3 ml per liter. Now, um, it's also important to, if you see big holes on the fruit, helicoverpa pheromone traps at the rate of 10 traps per acre should be put. Now, after the second or third pickings, if the borers are around, even uh, in small percentage, it's good to use the biopesticide Bavaria bassiana uh, in the field at the rate of 5 grams, or it can also be, depending on the formulation, 5 ml per liter. And to this also, you add Rashvi Pongamia liquid soap, uh, so that together they become very uh, effective. And a little bit of light irrigation at this time is good because um, uh, to generate humidity in the field for Bavaria to uh, act. 
Now, if the border uh, damage is more than 30% in the field and the farmer feels that it's very serious, then it is important to give one spray of insecticide. And what we recommend is an insecticide like flu bendamizer at the rate of 0.2 ml per liter. Now, what is important is after the spray, uh, at least for 10 days, there should not be any harvest. So harvest, uh, do one more picking, then spray and wait for 10 days and then only go for the next uh, picking. Now, it is important that the farmers look at the label, study the label, see the label claims, see the dosages correctly. And uh, if they have any doubts, they should uh, contact the nearest experts or contact uh, us. We will uh, uh, guide them. It is also important, the way you spray is important. Now, in the end of the lands, there, if the lands should be bent, it's called goose neck lands. That is the ideal for vegetables. Now, you have to spray over the plant and from the base of the plant, you have to also direct the spray upwards. Okay, so that the lower side of the leaves also get the spray because uh, thrips, white flies and many insects are found on both sides. Now, the laborers who use, it is important that uh, their health is uh, protected. So, uh, provide them with um, uh, hats, uh, goggles, uh, then mask, then coats or raincoats, boots while spraying. Then, do not spray against the wind. So, if you spray against the wind, the spray droplets will come onto the sprayer's face. As far as possible, you have to uh, also avoid monocrop in the uh, uh, field. Now, if you have any uh, clarification, if you need any advice, we are there always to uh, help you. Uh, you can note our numbers, you know, 890-43-85-613. Uh, let me repeat, 890-43-85-613. It is there on the screen for you to see. You, we have also uh, uh, email. You can record and send your queries on the mail. Thank you very much. All the best. And this way you will have residue-free quality tomatoes. Thank you.